it's Barb from Temporary Craft Studio. I have a haul to share with you today. I went to Joanne Hobby Lobby and Sam's Club, I believe. I'm trying to think if I got any orders this week, but I don't think so. If I did, I'll tell you about it when I come to them. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. This one is Hobby Lobby. I found this clearance planner in Hobby Lobby. It was ten seventy four. I'm sure I can use the the pages. I am trying to start doing kind of a um hybrid type planner like I'm doing different things I, I, I'll try to go through what I've done at some point I kind of did it in one of my other videos but I'll as one with a bundle I bought but I thought this one would be a pretty cover for fall so I can take the cover and the rings and use them now the pages I'll just slap away One of these, I may have bought a similar one last year, but I couldn't remember. And honestly, it was $1.25, so I just decided I was just going to buy it. Because by the time I know whether I have it or not, <laughs> it won't be left. Because I'm not going to know until I can get my Christmas decorations out. So, I'm really good about wrapping things. And then I bought this little hot chocolate stand. I thought this one was really cute. And I don't think I have one like this. But. Oh, this is Hubby's candy. And he has to pick one of those up just by the time we're there. And I just go with it. You can't argue with them. You just can't. Um, I bought these plates. They say, give thanks all of my Thanksgiving plates. I had a bunch of them in a fab pile, but I had stuck them on a bottom shelf in the basement and the basement flooded, so they're destroyed. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to throw them all away. I haven't taken the time to do it, but I could tell by looking at the container that they were no good. And then we got some napkins. So we have those for Thanksgiving. Oh. And one more thing from Hobby Lobby. This tear tray. I thought it was really pretty. They have another one that's white. 
and it might kind of have like a wood look to it as well but it's got a snowflake on top I may pick that one up eventually that one I would probably use in January I probably wouldn't use it till then so I'm like I'm just going to get this one right now and decide on that one later I also went to home goods I kind of forgot I went to home goods cat toy for Ella. She likes anything that dangles or has um, dangly pieces, I guess. <laughs> she likes crinkle balls too and she likes these type of little balls so she'll like that. This one I'll probably let her play with. I'll get it out after I put the Halloween one away. This I'm going to use in her I have a refillable advent calendar for her so I'm going to use this in there. They had another one that I really liked, but one of the toys was missing. So I'm like, I don't want to buy one that a toy is missing on. So I bought this one for her. She likes to play. She's, she's a very playful cat. Um, I want a new shower curtain liner because ours is ripped. It had like pockets in it, which I thought was really awesome for putting your shampoo or anything in. But once you put anything with weight in it, like a bottle of shampoo, it starts tearing. So I don't recommend those ones. I did pick up these Sanders dark chocolate sea salt caramels with peppermint. I love sea salt caramels. I love peppermint. So I figured I would like that one. And this one is actually for my oldest daughter. I keep finding little things to buy to put away. I need to try to find something for my younger daughter. She really likes Belle and she likes reading, so it says, sorry, I'm fully booked. She likes that and was there anything was sort of Oz, so, and I keep finding, I have one of those and I'm thinking about getting that, but we'll see. This one needs to go in the Christmas gift area along with that. And I think the rest of this is from Joanne. It said Happy Planner stuff was all 30% off. And she's like, you have any coupons? I said, well, I think everything's on sale or clearance. And when she rang the Happy Planner stuff up, she goes, those are just coming up regular price. I'm like, well, I've got coupons then, which was even better because they said they were 30% off. And I had a 60% off coupon that applied to this one. I want to use this cover. I'm not sure about the rings. I'm not sure if they'll be big enough for my planner. But what I'm planning to do is like um, like only put a month at a time in and then like a blank calendar page for the rest of the year. So if I have something that needs to be scheduled in the future, I can just pencil it in on that blank calendar page. And then when I move over to that month, I can write it in on that particular month. But I thought this would be a cute cover for, for October. I'm thinking that one that I thought for fall I might use um, for November. I'm trying to, and you know, this one's just note paper, so I will definitely use that. I might use the dividers in my planner too. So I'm thinking I'd kind of like to section out the weeks, if that makes any sense. Like label them week one, two, three, four. I found this was the other item I bought that I got 50% off on the little planner. What did they what do they call it? I think it's what they call dashboards. Oh these ones are book bookmark signets. And I think they say this week, this month, and notes. So and then found these Ranger mini ink blending tools. They were marked down to $2.97. They had two left, so I bought both of them. Because once I get my craft my regular craft studio, I will use those. I found these clear stamps on clearance for $1.97. I actually thought I might be able to use those in my planner a little bit. That was kind of 
the idea with them. I like this embossing folder that looks like wood. I figured that's one I would get a lot of use out of. This one has stars on it. So the small one was $1.47. The bigger 5x7 one was $1.97. This one was $1.97 too. And honestly, um, it's just planner stuff. I bought it for that purpose. I figured that would be nice. And then I bought some Halloween fabric because I want to make a couple of pillows. And I've seen this one with the cats on it. I'm like, oh, I want, I'm going to get that one. I said, no, I need one that kind of coordinates. And I thought this one kind of matched the cape. My brain just does not work. Because one pillowcase, the body of the pillowcase will be this color. Then I'll have um, like a little section in between. I don't know what. I have a trim, I guess, section. And then the cuff will be this fabric and then on the other one this will be the body and this will be the cuff so i want to get those made and i'm trying to see if there's anything else that's from amazon or anything but i don't think so no there's not i don't think so no i'm good um, I did my daughter got a call yesterday yeah yesterday from the village off, hall office and they said um the permit's in and you just need to come pick it up and pay for it and I'm like they should have called the contractor <laughs> so I got in touch with the contractor and he messaged me back and he's like well I need to sit down with you and one of your daughters because they own the house so even though I'm kind of doing the paying for the garage and craft studio, but, but he kind of wanted to include them because they own the property. <sighs> Makes sense. Um, I said, well, my old, I said, my youngest daughter usually gets home by three from work. My oldest daughter, it's not till like four. I said, now she will, um, she happens to be off Friday, tomorrow, it's her birthday. So he got back, he goes, how about we do it Friday then at 10? So I got to give him the down payment and um, we got to go over the, what all's going to be done. And hopefully they can start, I'm, I'm hoping next week, we'll see. Um, because they told me six weeks from when they start. So if they could start right away maybe by early December we'll be done I was really hoping to be done before I started decorating for Christmas but obviously that ain't gonna happen but we'll see what happens I am so I had went I went in less I went and got some money transferred so that I can write about a check but so hopefully we can I can start I want to try to film kind of the progress of it as it goes like they, they've got to tear down which door is that? Sorry. Which door is that? I'll bet it was just somebody walking. Yeah, it was just somebody walking down the road. It doesn't always pick up people that walk down the road, but sometimes it does. I don't know why it does it sometimes and other times it doesn't. Oh, maybe it depends on the speed they're traveling. I don't know. But anyways, hopefully they're going to start soon and... I can do that. I really am hoping to do the year-long Get Organized Challenge as well. I'll probably try to also have some footage filmed of setting up the craft studio too that I can use for the first month of the GOC because that's about learning the system and stuff and I kind of want to show how I'm setting stuff up. But we'll see how that goes. But anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.